Can humans really breathe underwater? Well, the short answer to this question is no, but we have figured out a way for humans and animals alike to breathe a liquid substance, and it may have some huge benefits moving forward in science and ocean exploration. Popularized by James Canyon's movie The Abyss, oil rig divers use special suits that equips them with breathable liquid to descend into the ocean. But this isn't just sci-fi fantasy, as the breathable liquid used within the film, known as oxygenated perfluocarbon, actually exists and has been used for around 100 years. The movie scenes with the diver was just a man holding his breath, but the scene where the mouse is put into the solution, that's all real. Research and experimentation started shortly after World War I where they tested to see if saline solutions could heal the lungs of soldiers suffering injuries from poison gas. But not much attention was focused on the process until around the 1950s. This is where the U.S. Navy hoped to use it to combat decompression sickness, a condition from breathing air at an incorrect pressure. As divers descend more and more, nitrogen dissolves in their tissues. Ascending too quickly causes the nitrogen to form tiny bubbles that can cause rashes, difficulty breathing, and even death. The reason the breathable liquid helps is because it would equal out the pressure outside the lung from inside the lung, removing the need to decompress. This all sounds great, but of course oxygenated liquids carry their own drawbacks as well. As in 1962, experiments led by Dr. Johannes Clearster proved small animals like mice could breathe this solution for up to one hour before shortly dying due to carbon dioxide poisoning. Later in 1966, American researchers Clark and Frank Garland fixed the liquid's main flaw. While liquid breathing is amazing at giving us the oxygen we need, it's not so good at removing the carbon dioxide we don't. By using perfluorocarbon to the solution, they were able to hold 20 times more oxygen while only having twice the density of water. The time of survival for our friend the mouse went up to 20 hours. After years of testing and experiments, U.S. Navy diver Francis J. Fajic became the first man to breathe liquid successfully, stating it wasn't too physically uncomfortable, but difficulty was found in removing the liquid from his lungs, which later caused pneumonia. And taking us full circle, it was the very same Felgic who gave a speech on the experience that inspired a young James Cameron to write the screenplay for The Abyss. If you made it this far in the video, thank you so much for watching, and any type of interaction helps out a lot. If you enjoy the content, make sure you like and subscribe. I apologize for the long wait on the video, I was saving up to buy a better mic, as well as trying my hardest to stay focused academically. Thank you so much.